Hello everyone, and welcome back to Electrology. Today, we're delving deeper into the world of instrument transformers by exploring three specific types. Current transformers, CT, potential transformers, PT, and capacitive voltage transformers, CVT. If you haven't seen our previous video on transformers, be sure to check it out in the link below. Now, let's dive into these fascinating components. First up, let's talk about current transformers, or CTs. ACT is a vital part of electrical systems. Basically, it is a step-up transformer with single-turn primary coil. Its primary role is to step down high currents to safer and measurable levels by increasing the secondary voltage. As the current flows through the primary winding, it induces a proportional current in the secondary winding. This secondary current can then be easily measured or used for protective purposes. Based on the secondary current, two types of CTs are available, 1 ampere and 5 ampere. 1 ampere CTs are generally used for long distance circuits and 5 ampere CTs are used for short distance circuits. Based on the application of CT, it is further divided into two categories, measuring CT and protection CT. If you want to learn more about CT, we will make another video on CT. Next, we have potential transformers or PTs. A PT is all about stepping down high voltages to safer, measurable levels. They are commonly used for accurate voltage measurements. Similar to CTs, PTs operate on the principle of electromagnetic induction. The primary voltage induces a proportional voltage in the secondary winding, which can be accurately measured or used in various applications. Now, let's explore capacitive voltage transformers, or CVTs. CVTs are designed for precise voltage measurements, particularly in high voltage transmission systems. They are essential for metering, monitoring, and protection in electrical systems. These transformers utilize a capacitive divider network to step down high voltages while maintaining accurate voltage ratios. As you can see in the diagram, it is a combination of capacitive voltage divider, an inductive element and an auxiliary transformer. The capacitor or potential divider is placed across the line whose voltage is used to be measured or controlled. Let the C1 and C2 be the capacitor placed across the transmission lines. The output of the potential divider acts as an input to the auxiliary transformer. The capacitor places near to the ground have high capacitances as compared to that placed near the transmission line. The high value of capacitances means the impedance of that part of the potential divider becomes low. Thus, low voltages pass to the auxiliary transformer. The auxiliary transformer further step down the voltages. The N1 and the N2 are the numbers of turns on the primary and the secondary winding of the transformer. The meter used for measuring the low value of voltage is resistive, and the potential divider is capacitive. Thereby, the phase shift occurs, and the output will be affected. To overcome this problem, the inductance is placed in series with the auxiliary transformer. As we wrap up our discussion on CTs, PTs, and CVTs, don't forget to check out our previous video on transformers, link in the description below for a comprehensive look at the heart of electrical systems. Thank you for joining us today on Electrology. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might find it useful. If you have questions or specific topics you'd like us to cover, drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of science and technology.